Hey guys, welcome back. So, I thought this would be kind of interesting. I've got this uh, laptop here I'm working on. This is a, a, this is a Dell or something or another with a Core i7 in it. Nice big old screen. Um, but this thing has major problems. I mean, this thing is slowed down to a crawl. I just right click down here and uh, can't seem to get anything. Everything just takes five minutes to, to uh, complete when you click on something. So I'm trying to get Task Manager to come up here. And you can see how long this is taking. Alright, I'm going to open up Task Manager. Bear with it, this is going to take a while. See, it's working on it, it's just extremely slow. Um, it's going to take a while to fill this in too. But what I want to show you guys is right here. You can see as soon as this finishes loading here, you'll see our memory is like completely used up and there's nothing running on here really yet. And I've already gone through, I've checked the usual suspects, I've gotten rid of things from the startup menu, I uninstalled some crap that didn't need to be on here. But, um, yeah, nothing seems to help here. Uh, I was having the, the disk usage here was at 100% and just stuck there. Um, and that seems to be stuck on zero now, so I'm not sure what's going on with it. Oh, there we go. All right, just had it finished loading. So you can see this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, almost all the memory is used up and disk is at 100%, right? So if I go to performance. You can see, you know, in use, 970 available, 53. Uh, you know, this has 8 gigs of RAM in it. But if you look right here, hardware reserve 7. I had to click on memory here. I guess I just did. Um, but yeah, anyways, hardware reserved is 7. So you can get resource monitor to open here. And you see we're sitting at 100% use right there on the memory. Well, now it's back down to 90, but I mean, it stays, you know, 90 to 100%. All right, resource monitor is slowly opening here. Look at this, hardware reserved. 7 gigs, 7,169 megabytes is reserved. And I looked, and there's no, uh, you know, there's no settings in the BIOS to, um, to you know, uh, set aside RAM for the, uh, for the onboard graphics, so... Um, yeah, like I said, I went through, I got rid of all the, you know, or I checked all the usual suspects, got rid of all the crap that was on here, so. All right, so this laptop took a bit of an interesting turn. Uh, I did end up getting it fixed. I'll show you guys what I did to, to fix it here. Um, but then she got it back and said it worked great for a few days, and then all of a sudden it wouldn't turn on. Uh, so we'll get into that here in a little bit. But let me show you what I did to fix the memory issue here. And it's not a setting that, you know, you're normally going to come across. So you have to go to MS Config. And um, if you go to Boot and Advanced Options, this box right here was checked, Maximum Memory. And it had, uh, you know, this was 1,000, so it was setting almost a you know gigabyte of RAM aside as the only memory that could be used. And, of course, everything was using it up. And uh, it was, you know, it was... It was using the hard drive as backup. That's why the hard drive was was at 100%. The RAM was at 100%, and it just wouldn't do anything. So as soon as I, you know, uncheck this box here, um, everything worked fine on it. So as you can see, everything's working as it should now. Exit without restart because yeah, we didn't change anything. But um, so looking at the task manager now, you can see uh, memory usage 36%, and disk usage is 
zero percent so it's much better so i'm glad we we're able to fix that i have no idea how the box got checked because nobody's going to go there and and uh, change the setting they're they're just not gonna i just can't see anybody doing it so i have no idea how the box got checked uh she doesn't know enough to uh to go in there and and change that setting i don't believe so i'm not sure how that you know if that was part of a you know windows update screw up because you know sometimes windows updates will change things that aren't intended to be changed but once we got that done that's uh you know that, that seemed to take care of it so now let's see if we can recreate uh god damn it all right well you got to give me a minute because you can tell you know we got to update this thing so we're going to do update and shut down all right there we go the update's finally done just make sure it didn't change anything on us here This I kind of expected 100% disk usage, but our memory usage is still good. So, um, yeah, it's the Windows thing you got to get used to. A lot of times when you turn on, you get that 100% disk usage for a while, and then it, it'll eventually settle down. We're going to let it settle down here uh, just to make sure that it's actually going to settle down. All right, so I think we got everything sorted. Now. Let's see if we can recreate this issue that's having with the power. See, now it's not going to work. It's kind of like when your wife brings your, her car home and tells you that, you know, honey, my car's making a noise, and you go, you take it for a ride, or, you know, bring it to the mechanic or whatever, and, and it never happens again. Next time she's in it, it'll do it again. So uh, I just got to keep at this thing, because I know if, if I give it back to her and tell her, yeah, it's not doing it now, and as soon as she gets it home, it's going to do it. So we'll just be persistent and uh, try and get this to happen. All right, so here's the thing. I can't get it to happen again. I can't get it to shut down and not turn on by pushing the power button. And I swear this is, was repeatable uh, three out of four times when it came in before, or when I first got it back in here. Uh, what happened while it was sitting, I don't know, I made to take some steps to try to correct it, and then I ended up ordering a new part for it here, which I believe this is what it is. Um, why it's continuing to work every time, I, I'm not sure, but I know it's not gonna continue that way. Uh, for long like i said she'll get it back home and, and it'll give her some shit then so we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen i'm gonna go ahead and replace the part anyways and when i'm in here i'll show you guys the steps that i did take to try to uh narrow it down and, and remedy it uh let me get you guys a good view here grab a screwdriver and one nice thing about this laptop is uh, this back panel here. I mean, this whole back panel comes off and it, it exposes pretty much your, you know, your, your RAM modules, your battery, and, and your hard drive all in one panel with just four screws. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, uh, like if you got to, um, you know, if you want to like repaste this, I did repaste that, but if you want to repaste that, this has to come off because you can't get to the two screws here for that um, CMOS battery if you ever need to replace that you got to take take the whole thing apart uh, DC jack of course you got to take the whole thing apart and the part that we're trying to get to we got we got to really take the whole thing apart to get to that so let's go ahead and get this thing apart
All right, here's where we need to get to right here. Uh, there's the power button board right there, and this is what I believe the problem was with it. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. You can see it runs, uh, the, the board is under the heat sink and you got the cable here. Um, I actually put a piece of tape on here in case this might have been putting some pressure on there or whatever. And also right here, I'm not sure if you can see it, I'll show you better when I take it out. Uh, this, the very edge of it is kinked pretty good where it was digging into the side panel here. So I, I, I got it like off the side panel, I got a piece of tape under it so that it can't do that. Um, and other than that, every time I would, uh, you know, I couldn't get it to turn on if I unplugged it from... From the motherboard over here it plugs into the motherboard um if i unplug it and plug it back in it's almost like it would uh discharge something and then it would turn on uh the next time i shut it down it won't do it i unplug that and plug it back in um you know I, and i did this work with the tape and everything to uh you know just to try to see if that was it and it didn't help anything uh so you know like i said i went i ordered a brand new power button for it and well apparently uh, it doesn't want to cooperate now. It's going to make a liar out of me, but we're going to replace it anyways because I know, I, I just know it's going to end up being an issue later. So, I'm going to close this back down so you can see what I'm doing here. So, we're going to pull out everything that we have to, to get the mother or to, to get the uh, heat sink off of there. So, we basically, we have to take this off the motherboard here. and unplug the fan all right you can see i gooped up the cpu really good there that fucker gets hot um all right and here it is let's get the tape out of there that i put on All right, now on the inside here, you can see right here, it's connected to the motherboard, so I just gotta, I already popped the tab on it, so I just gotta pull the cable out. And now we can just pull it through, and I'll show you where I was talking about where this thing had that kink in it. Um, if you look right, Right above the, come on, focus on it. Right above the black strip right there, you can see that that right there was digging into the into the metal on the palm rest there. So I really thought that was the issue um, when I first saw it. I thought, you know, what else could it be? But it doesn't look like it broke anything. So at that point, I didn't know. I taped down all the connections and and everything else. Um, I have no idea what the issue is with this. It doesn't. You can't obviously tell by looking at it. Um, that's soldered on there and it's got gob of hot glue on it. But just to be safe, like I said, we are going to replace it with a new one here. Because I'm pretty confident that's the issue right there. <laughs> yeah, and what you know fucking ebay and i bought this and and it said new it said it was new right well there's fucking adhesive on the bottom so which means it was already attached to a laptop there's there's no way to peel it it was it was already in a laptop at some point and um i don't see you know really where, where this one's got that let me put these the same direction. Where this one's got that kink where it was digging into the metal. Um, this one doesn't have it, but it looks like this black band around it. This this one looks more like a tape, where this one's like a, a cloth type of tape. Um, and it's like a plastic tape. It doesn't look like that one got dug into. So maybe that was the issue, and, and it just fixed it. So I don't fucking know. But either way, we're replacing it.
All right, guys. Well, I don't know. It uh, seems to be working. It was, I mean, it was working before I replaced the switch, obviously, but it just seems to me that now it's uh, um, it's working with a new switch. I mean, I swear this thing before I could not get it to three out of four times. It would not turn on when I pushed that power button. Um, and, and I tried everything, you know, I tried uh, with the battery in, with the battery out. Uh, running on battery, running on AC with battery, running on AC with bat without battery. Um, I tried putting it to sleep, push power button, wake it up. Uh, that seemed to work. It was only like it seemed to be only when it shut down. Um, if you would shut it down, you would turn it back on, and it, and it does nothing. Uh, but as soon as you unplug this from the motherboard and plug it back in, hit that power button, it would turn on. Uh, I have no idea what the issue is, but it's good to know. Uh, two things are fixed on here now, and I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to play with this for a while. I'm just going to turn it on, let it run, turn it off, you know, turn it on, and do it a whole bunch of times just to make sure that it's going to turn on every single time before I let her know that it's ready for her to come pick up. So, um, but anyways, that's that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.